Hello fellow YouTubers. Welcome to this video. Now before I get started, I want to thank you guys for, for one, giving me like 50 plus views on my last video, because that's pretty nice. Two, for giving me the two dislikes, because I'm glad you guys are doing something on the video. But also, more importantly, for the two subscribers. So if the new subscribers are watching this video, thank you. I don't know who you are personally. If you comment and say you're one of the new subscribers, I will respond, because I appreciate that. But anyway, <clears throat> This video is going to be something completely different, but it's still going to be kind of the same. So with the JBL Mauro Ronaldo situation getting really heated and, you know, crowds are chanting the fire Bradshaw, and my only thought is how horrible this could be for the company. And not in the way everybody else is thinking where, oh, it's bad PR. It's more than bad PR. My concern is what it's going to do to the heel face dynamic. So we've already seen this start start to occur, where JBL now has to tone it down. The rumor is he's going to go face. He's going to go face. JBL doesn't work as a face. His character is designed to be a heel. Generally, the person who has wrestled is always the heel, except for the like late or well, early 2010s when Cole was the heel and King was the face announcer. That's like the only example I can think of off the top of my head. This just isn't going to work. Especially when you realize there are no heel commentators ignoring Corey Graves. And Corey Graves is going to be on Raw, JBL's on SmackDown, something like that, I don't know. So how is that going to work? Who is going to cheer for the bad guys? And, and, and you guys might go, well, this doesn't matter. It, it does matter. Because the reason the Ascension isn't doing anything right now is because when they first showed up, JBL was the one burying them. If he would have been, you know, behind them, saying how great they were, they would have probably been a big deal by now, at least for a time being. Now there's nobody to support the heels, unless you have, what, Saxton turn heel? Who's going to buy that? And then there's, there's the, other, the other effect here, where they had to pull Saxton from Raw, so that way the Corey Graves-Saxton relationship has been modified. And while, while that's all fine and good, you, you realize they're coming to a point where they might just have to stop anything. And frankly, it doesn't make sense. And I'm not trying to say I understand Mara's situation. I'm just saying that everything that happened, that we know about, happened during work, which was JBL being in character. It was, it was a WWE show. It, it, was, it was their job. So, I'm not saying Mara's a bad person. Far, far from it. I'm just saying that everything bad we know happened, happened for a good reason. It's called being in character. It's literally the foundation for professional wrestling. And if you think for a second that, that this isn't going to affect that, you're mental. Because literally, what what happens in a few months when some heel says something dastardly to a face, and the face gets upset? This isn't like a an isolated incident, where where it's not going to affect anything. This is going to set a precedent, and it's going to be because JBL was in character, and by even allowing this to be a thing, say they fire JBL, that means any time a heel is in character they can theoretically get fired for being in character. That doesn't make sense, guys. It really doesn't. I get not liking the fact that JBL has been bullying and hazing people for years now. Well, decades now, to be honest. But at the same point, this Morrow issue cannot be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Because literally everything that's been done has been done on TV, ignoring like a random prank here and there. He's just in character. And I don't say that to be insensitive. The fact of the matter is that if JBL gets fired for this, the WWE will not be the same. It won't. Because then, say there's some heel who's like, hey, I want to go off the script. Can't do that. JBL did that that one time, got fired. Mm, Vince even liked it and he got fired. And how fair is that? I, I, I get why people are like, oh, we don't want Bradshaw here anymore, and I, I get it, 
But at the same point, this is professional wrestling. That is his job. Literally, that is his job. His goal is to be hated so he can push his heel heat onto the heel wrestlers so that way they get over as well. So what happens next? You fire JBL, well then you know what happens? Then, then heels don't get over properly, which we've already been dealing with for the last six, seven years anyway. The moment that happens, we aren't watching professional wrestling anyway, we're just watching spots. And frankly, the spot monkey crap is not the stuff I enjoy anyway. It just, there, there's no easy way out of this situation. And I don't want to say Morrow has to grow up and just deal with it, because that's definitely not the correct answer. But the fact of the matter is, if he never mentioned it as b it being an issue, then there's really no reason to fire JPL over it. Maybe it's just me, but... If you aren't complaining about it and getting things done about it, then you're just throwing a hissy fit after the fact. But anyway, that's about all I have to say about this con uh, topic. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. But feel free to comment with what, what you think should be done about the situation. Because it's a hard situation to pick a side on, because if you side with JBL, you're siding with a bully. And if you side with Maro, then this happens. There's just no correct side to it. And it's, it's just, it's hard. So comment with your opinions on what should be done, or where you feel you sit on the spectrum. And uh, like and share, subscribe. Because I deserve more subscribers. Uh, can we get to 15 by the time this video is uh, a day old? Eh, 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 eh. Thanks for watching. Peace out, I'm Skillets.